Beaverus Deepwood. Beaverus tried to turn wood into gold. In the end, he got mahogany, which in turn he sold for a lot of gold. Brian Blackstone. Brian became the youngest student ever to successfully cast the teleportation spell. He teleported himself 20 feet into the air and successfully fell to his death. Burnison, troll. Burnison of High Wind Lake managed to collapse the south wing of the school by sneezing. Daniel A. Curlshawk. Daniel conjured himself a magical forest and has not been seen since. D. Zaster. D. died in a devastating explosion near a fireplace. His last essay on the development of my fart spell will be passed on to his surviving family. Elmar Frog. Elmar's father, the royal executioner, asked for permission to see his son's school records. Elmar is doing fine. Truly. Really fine lad. Hmm. Looks as if a few pages were ripped out here. Fluffy Fofofof. Fluffy transformed pure gold into a tasty piece of bread, so refuting the old saying that you cannot eat gold. Hiker Granger. Despite repeated warnings, which hiker is still using the school's palentia to make long distance calls? Friederica Sillybottom. Friederica Sillybottom has applied to the city council for a change of name. She shall henceforth be known as Frederica Sillybottom. Ingemar Thunderflash. Despite repeated demands, Ingemar refuses to tell us his real last name. No one is called Thunderflash. Yoda Green Gnome. Magic strong in this one is, but weak his grammar be. Lenart the Akagamic. Lenart the Akagamic, genius of the buttons, mage of the keys, has broken more brains than hearts, most recently his own brain, which earned him a private suite in the Arkhamstein Asylum. Levin from the hills, gifted fire and water mage. Unfortunately, his talents cancel each other out, so is regarded as one of the most incompetent mages in his class. Marcel makes a lot. Marcel summons large hairy mammals and refuses to stop doing so. Marco tit Marco intentionally uses words like f sh and p because he believes it would be too embarrassing to write them down here. Mario Mushroom. Mario jumps on other people's heads, lights them on fire, and then calls the whole thing non-violent. Mark of the Southlands. Lord Mark of the Southlands yesterday set fire to several teachers and flooded the gym. Again. Movi Van Grove. Movi Van Grove transformed the school sheep into an ape, although the librarian expressly forbids apes in the school. Omadomadillo. Omadom was expelled. It turned out that he was an armadillo in a penguin suit with a sign that said, Moo. Okay, now that's just weird. Papa the Great. Papa the Great, the only student of this academy whose width exceeds his height, today received his degree. He will be missed. Percy Smith. Percy detonated a stink bomb during running training. The students never ran faster. Student Smith received an award.
Peter, troll. The Hunter's Guild has asked us to find a new caretaker. It seems the grumpy troll snoring and farting is scaring off the wildlife for miles around. René Beetle. René claims to have been in a sky full of diamonds with a certain Lucy. Visits from females are strictly prohibited in this school. So are mushrooms. Russell the Undead. Russell the Undead Mage is constantly losing skin. There have been numerous complaints from the cleaning staff. Sasha Shalislash. This entry was only added to make life difficult for anyone who has to read it out loud. Sorry. Hey, it's not very nice. Serena Dirkmanser. Serena discovered a completely new kind of magic. A second, completely unrelated incident then destroyed the entire laboratory. Speedster. Document not found. Did you mean speedster or speed star? Hmm. Theragor Biratan. Theragor lost today's archery contest after he fired his arrow in the wrong direction. We sent his family flowers. Toby Corner. Toby Corner. Wise remarks, deficient. Wise cracks, good. No idea what it does. A lever. No idea what it does. That's it! I locked him out! We carried loads of rubbish out of the school. I guess we must have overseen those. I'll take them with me. Done is done. The school looked terrible when it reappeared. It took days before we could move freely on the ground floor. Don't even want to think about upstairs. Whoa, the new caretaker troll. Hello. Um, hello. I'm, I'm Wilbur Weathervane. P Professor Wilbur Weathervane. I, uh, I, I teach, so I, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. If you were to talk to me, we could work together to accomplish much more for the school.
Come on! I demand that you talk to me! Oh, great. Someone else to make demands around here. What are you doing? What does it look like? It looks like you're cleaning the hall. Well, now and then. A little. Yep, it's my job. I'm a janitor. What of it? Headmaster Block has ordered you and I to clean the hall and free it of cobwebs. Already on it. Um, yeah, but it doesn't seem to be progressing. Oh, you can of course do it better. Not that, only maybe, maybe you could use some help. Do you have any other cleaning supplies? A broom, dustpan? Sure, got it all. But I ain't giving you none. Get your own. What's your problem? I'm offering you help and saving you a lot of work. Oh, boo-hoo, cry me a river. It was nice talking to you. I really don't understand why so many people don't want to talk to trolls. Arseholes, the lot of them. They don't want us to speak our minds. And I think that's wrong. That's why I let you. Yeah, but then you run down everything I say. Who made you sheriff here? This school is going downhill and has been for a long time. Ever since you and a few others came here, there's been nothing but stress. Um. Hang on a minute. Isn't this your first day? Didn't used to be that way. But now everything has to be politically correct, or you get silenced immediately. Yeah, well, well, goodbye. It gives you hope to know that something beautiful and peaceful has survived in this gloomy building. Ah! Ugh. Oi! Stop that! He kissed a picture of the princess. Probably better if I put the book in a safe place. This is the desk that Chantal, the daughter of the council leader and little Timmy share. Hard to imagine two students being any more different. Chantal is only here because of its tradition in her family and I don't think she really cares about magic or has any real talent for it. Timmy though, well, he is eager to learn and was so excited the last few days. It's for students like him that we have to get this school back up and running. Mmm, a pencil case. A ruler. Nothing special. Uh, maybe I can lure him into a trap. Hey, look! That book! Ah! I have you now! Well, sort of. Locked up in a dark place with a book of fairy tales. Hmm, time to negotiate. Hello? Can you hear me? <coughs> I got nothing against you, but you have to leave the school. It's too dangerous here for you, and you're interfering with the routine. <coughs> I'm going to slowly open the desktop now, and you're going to come out peacefully. <coughs> right then. <coughs> ah! Ow! Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. I should probably make the best of this. I'll just keep him in the pencil case where it's safe. Oh, 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 I think he's woken up and he's looking for trouble. <laughs> 